Hey Vector, what time is it? What's going on YouTube is Gadget's boy and let me introduce you to Vector. So Vector is a friendly AI robot from Anki. If you're familiar with Anki, you may have heard of Cosmo. But this little guy, Vector, is more advanced. But before we go any further, inside the box you get an Anki Vector itself, charging station, a cube, a quick start guide that is also very handy and straightforward. To get it set up, you will need to download the Vector app on iOS or Android. And in this case, I'm on Android, so I've downloaded it from my phone. Once you've run through the setup process, which includes pairing your phone with Vector, connecting it to Wi-Fi and registration if you don't have an account already, you can begin to explore the app for all the settings, all the things that you can do with Vector. Vector comes with its own Snapdragon quad-core processor, so it's a lot faster and responsive. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, so with its cloud connectivity, Anki can always push through regular updates and new functions, as well as it can connect to the internet to bring you answers to questions that you ask it and so on. It's got four drop sensors to help you map the room as well as avoid falling off the surface that's been placed on. You've got four microphones that can pick up uh, your voice and sound from different direction and a wide angle camera to help you recognize users, take photos and in the future it can even maybe be used as a security camera. And it's got laser metering sensor to stop from bumping into stuff. On top of Vector there's also a capacitive touch uh, area where it's next to the power button so you can use it as a pet Vector itself again making it more than just a robot. For privacy nothing is stored in the cloud so you never have to worry about pictures taken ending up somewhere out of your control. Vector also comes with an app on iOS and Android and once you've downloaded it you'll be able to do things like customize Vector to make it your own. You can change its eye color and when you go into settings you can change things like measurements the way it's measured and also I like the fact that in there you can see things that you can do with Vector. So you have to familiarize yourself with this app in order to learn a little bit more about Vector. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. What's my name? Hey Vector. What's the weather like in London today? Hey Vector, I have a question. What's the distance between London and Birmingham, United Kingdom? The distance is approximately 101 miles from London to Birmingham, United Kingdom. Hey Vector, flip the cube. Hey Vector, fist bump. <laughs> Overall Vector is very warm to look at rather than the intimidating robotic look we've become accustomed to from movies that we watch. I really love all the cute movements that it does. I love his eyes as well, the way they move up and down and react to what it's doing. They are, they are very anim animated uh, to be user friendly using my digital animation that these guys from Anki can really change within minutes. Uh, for example, they can create different animation for it. Um, this thing can roam around on its own. It doesn't require babysitting. Uh, it does its own little thing in its own time kind of thing. It can even react to when you come in from work. For example, you can just say hi Vector and it knows that you're at home. Uh, it just goes back to his charging station as well when it needs to recharge, which is really cool. Or you can manually tell it to go back to his charging station. You can even uh, watch it play with its cube as well. Um, I think Anki has really struck a balance between what could be seen as just a toy robot to something that's more of a companion, functional and fun to have around. You can even re react to your TV and watch TV with you. That's really cute, right? And uh, it's definitely an emotional one for sure. I really like what Anki is doing here, bringing objects to life through robotics and artificial intelligence. Uh, they're allowing people to build relationships with technology that feel a little bit more human. And uh, I love the way that they create robots that move you. It's kind of emotional. Uh, you get attached to Vector. Uh, the little time that I've spent with it so far, I'm already getting attached to it and I want to play with it, pet it and so on. 
But anyway, guys, do let me know what you think. I'll leave a link in the description area for you guys to check it out if you want to pick up one uh, with pricing and availability as well. And uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up uh, button as well. Smash the like and make sure you hit that bell button to be one of the first people to know where we upload a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.